Always something happening at the Augusta Museum of History and this Saturday you can get a sneak peek of their behind the scenes tour. That's right. We have museum register Alina Wrench with us this morning to tell us more about the tour and what uh, attendees can expect to see. Hey Alina, it's, it's been a year. It's uh, good to have it you has. back. It's nice to be back and thank you for having me. Before we get into this special program, um, tell us about your position. What exactly is a museum registrar? Yes, so a museum registrar is essentially a uh, my job is to maintain records of everything that comes into the museum, anything that goes out of the museum on loan, anything we receive in on loan, mm -hmm. uh, and then everything that we maintain in our permanent collection. So I am maintaining the records, collecting the data, um, we do some research on it, and then making sure that that information is all accessible easily uh, to both us and the public. That's a lot. Okay. Yes. <laughs> yes, and as you can see, she has gloves on, yes. so it's a pretty just serious because you're trying to preserve the the artifacts and the yes. history of the items as well so there's a lot to check out at the museum and i'd imagine even more behind the scenes right so tell us about the behind the scenes tour absolutely so this tour um it really focuses on preservation and what we do to maintain our permanent collection um, but we also want to talk to people a little bit about what they can do to preserve their own family history um, so in a general tour, uh, we will go back into our storage area. Um, I will talk a little bit about what we do at the museum, um, some of the methods that we use for preservation, and then I always try to relate it to what people can feasibly do in their own homes, because um, most people don't have a um, museum facility in their basements, but um, we, uh, we do try to kind of make that connection that people can be doing a lot to preserve their own family history, um, and that's kind of where that history, uh, that history initially really gets preserved. Now, who can sign up for this and what can they expect to see and learn about? Yeah, so um, anyone can sign up for this. This is a um, program that's free with normal museum admission. Um, and you can either call or email the museum or it is walk-in based as well. Um, so our um, front desk operator will also be um, there to assist you in signing up for the tour if you're there on the day of. Um, and uh, they can expect a tour that is about an hour long. Again, that first portion, I'm kind of talking about um, the different methods that we use and what people can do in their own homes. And then for the second portion, it's uh, kind of the fun part. It's a little bit of uh, show and tell. Um, I ha have them take a look at our storage unit, um, our storage facility, um, and then we go into uh, some examples of like what I've been talking about on the first portion of the tour. And although the museum is large, not everything is always on display. So how do you determine what gets put out? Yeah, so there are some different factors that go into what makes an item best for display. Um, the reason why most museums only have about 10% of their collection on display at any given time, uh, one reason is definitely space. Uh, we simply just have uh, far too many items to be able to have them on display all right. the time. Um, we also do have uh, concerns about what an item might specifically be made of or some of its um, preservation care needs. Uh, for instance, things that are made out of cloth, like textiles, things like paper, those are gonna be more susceptible to light damage over time. So for those things, we might be looking at displaying reproduction items um, or putting them out for more limited uh, times. Hence the gloves. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> Okay, so the behind the scenes tour that's already actually started, it was this past Saturday. Mm -hmm. You have another uh, couple of tours coming up on Saturday the 14th mm -hmm. and also the 21st. Yes. Um, are there any other events that are going to be coming up? Um, so I know that we have a lot coming up uh, through really the entire holiday season. Um, we have uh, some fun things planned for uh, Halloween. Uh, we always do our gingerbread village at, um, uh, I think, uh, right after. Thanksgiving mm -hmm. about is when we do our gingerbread village. Um, we also have Polar Express. Yes. I believe those tickets go on sale uh, in October. Um, so uh, we have definitely a lot coming up. Yes. Well, as she said, this is a once a year event. Definitely want to check this out to see what it looks like behind the scenes of the Augusta Museum of History. Uh, head to AugustaMuseum.org for all the information. And as you said, uh, this tour is included. Yes. Uh, with your museum admission. Absolutely. Yes. Okay, great. Check that out. Uh, Alina, thanks so much. We yeah. appreciate it. Thank you.